So the watch list is a representation of the very essence of the work that we do here uh, at Crisis Group. Uh, every year we choose a list of 10 conflict situations to watch where we do see that there are trends towards uh, worsening or escalating situations. Uh, in all those cases we also identify opportunities for national, regional or international actors to uh, try to work towards uh, finding possible solutions. We decided to focus on the role of the European Union because the EU is a growingly important player in the prevention of conflicts. Of course, the 10 cases that we present uh, every year will evolve naturally. So this is why we present three updates uh, every year on the watch list. In the first update of 2018, we will present four cases. Yemen, Venezuela, Sri Lanka and Burundi. As the war in Yemen enters its fourth year, perspectives for military escalation and, and regional spillover are, are growing. The European Union, as a non-belligerent, is uniquely placed to help uh, address the solution there, and that is why we think it should increase its support to the new UN Special Envoy into finding a negotiated political solution that will be both accepted, inclusive and, and realistic, and also begin to address uh, the demands from uh, separatist calls uh, in the South. In Venezuela, about 1.5 million persons had fled uh, the country in, in less than two years. Uh, this is because the political crisis has been worsening and the election of 20 May will likely worsen the situation rather than improve it. We do believe that the European Union can address uh, the uh, humanitarian crisis of the Venezuelan migrants and refugees along uh, the country's border, which will risk also destabilizing and adding much more pressure on the neighboring countries. In Sri Lanka we focus and we try to address the growing religious violences uh, against the Muslim community. In uh, February and March of this year we witnessed the worst escalation of violence against them. In this case we call for the European Union to be more loudly supporting the uh, initiatives of the government to enforce the uh, crimes against uh, hate speech and religious violence also through prosecution. Uh, finally, on Burundi, uh, we look at the 17 May referendum which will likely lead to uh, extend President Kurunziza's stay in power by lifting uh, the constitutional limit to it. Even though we do not think this will be a trigger for further violence, uh, coupling the uh, dire economic situation in the country, uh, the repression of the regime and the social rift and political rift uh, within the government and opposition may lead to a uh, worsening of the old situation there. Uh, since uh, the official aid uh, from the EU had to be suspended, uh, it is important that uh, the European Union redoubles its efforts to reach the NGOs locally and try to alleviate the conditions of the population and avoid that this will contribute to further destabilizing the country. This is only a note of the whole analysis you will find in the first uh, update to our 2018 uh, watch list. Uh, we want this to be uh, a strong uh, early warning initiative leading for an action from international partners and the European Union in particular to strengthen perspectives for peace.